why did you choose the city of Plymouth? I mostly chose the city of Plymouth because that's where PCA was really. Um, I like the fact that it's only a short distance away from my home. Uh, I'm from the country so it was quite important to me that I'd be able to travel back and forth if I needed to. Um, I'm obviously quite family oriented um, so I quite enjoy doing that um, and the fact that we've got a train station in Plymouth is really helpful because we can just come to and from um, as easy as you want. Also there's a beautiful seaside right next to it, um, close to um, natural reserves and different things um, and it's a city without it feeling too much like a city you know what I mean. There's, a, there's loads of shops and there's a high street but there's not um, an overpowering feeling of being out um, in an incredibly busy place all the time. There's a lot of places where you can go to be um, calm um, and just enjoy a bit of nature. So it's a really, really nice city to live in. I'm one of the few people in uh, the extended diploma courses that moved to Plymouth to be able to do this course. I was previously living in Portsmouth. Um, over in Hampshire and obviously the, the, the art college really prompted this. The surrounding area is <laughs> really quite amazing. As someone doing a film course um, it's really great for me because it means that I have the potential to be able to film in so many different kinds of areas. So obviously there's Dartmoor so you've got some really good nature so there is just so much range in location scouting where I just didn't have that before. So I chose the city of Plymouth because it is, it is close to my hometown which is Exmouth but also a little bit further out so I am able to learn how to be independent and um, also be by the seaside which I find really calming. Plymouth has got some amazing uh, places. It's got uh, it's got the hoe. We're able to go and have barbecues. It's got you know very uh, very small places for like live gigs, which is very very nice. Sometimes I don't like very loud places, so I do really appreciate when there is live music, and there are also spaces for people that are a little bit more sensitive to sound, like me. There is a huge variety of things that you can do in Plymouth, and like I said, it is great because you know it's got the aspects of a small town. It's it can be very personalised and it's got the aspects of a city. So if you wanted that city life, then you can have and you can go to all of these events. In the summertime, it is absolutely amazing. Um, just being able to go to the seaside, um, down to the hoe and sit on the grass in the sunshine with my friends is just great fun. There's lots of really nice walks along the Barbican and there's the beaches are really close by so if you come back in the summer you can bring a car, bring your friends and just go hang out at the beaches for a week which me and my friends did for an extra week last summer which was great fun. I was really interested in studying next to the sea because I grew up next to the sea and um, Plymouth also isn't that far from where I grew up so it has good transport links back home and also good transport links to cities like London and Exeter and Bristol. I feel like I didn't choose the city of Plymouth but the city of Plymouth chose me. Um, I was actually born here <laughs> and I've lived here my whole life so I've always I've always loved the city, I've grown up with it. Um, I know a lot of really cool places that maybe the usual person wouldn't know who just comes to study here. So yeah, I've got a deep appreciation of the place where I've grown up. 